What's up YouTube? It's your boy Big Todd Tech now. I have a software slash app review for you guys. And the app the app is called Team Viewer. And the, what this allows you to do is it allows you to see someone's desktop, whether it's a friend's family member or just just in your home. It allows you to see their desktop and control it from your iPod touch your iPad, iPhone, and Android devices as well. And I'm going to show you a quick demo on my iPod Touch, fourth generation, and how it works. Okay, first you do is you download the program. You can go to any internet browser, go to Google, and you type in Team Viewer. Type in, type in Team Viewer all together and you hit enter. Now, you're, you're going to see something that says Team Viewer, then it has a whole bunch of things under it. All you have to do is just go, is click on the link, and it will take you straight to the site. You go to download for Windows, Mac, Linux, or mobile. But if you're doing it from the computer, obviously you pick Mac or Windows or Linux. Okay, after you do that, you install the program and then you open it. Now, it gives you a password and an ID every time you log into it. Okay, now your password changes every time you open a program and you close it, your ID stays the same automatically so now I'm going to show you what it looks like on the iPod touch fourth generation okay now once you put your password in and your, and your ID number you hit remote control now the screen is going to change to white or black or whatever your default desktop thing is now they have instructions on how to use the how to use the program on your iPod Touch. You can leave it on every time you will go to where it will come up, and you or you can just cut it off. I choose to just cut it off because I know how to use it so far, and just click continue. Now you can see I can view my whole desktop on my iPod Touch. See. And I can tap on the start menu and actually scroll up and just pick a program. Whether if I want to pick the pink program, it will open up. And when it open up, I can just I can go to it, click, and I can just start drawing on it. See, same thing on here, same thing on my computer. Okay, now, now if I have to open up a file, right, I would just go, scroll down, if I want to open up any file, if I want to open up documents or music, click on the music. Now it will show all the music that I have in my music file. Now I can click it and it will automatically play my song. They also have a thing called it's like file share. Where you can just you can well actually not file share, file transfer. You can actually transfer your files over. So if I wanted to to do that, I would have to do it like from only from a computer to a computer. Can't do it from the iPod touch or iPhone or Android or iPad to the computer. You have to do it from computer to computer. But it's pretty simple. And I found it kind of useful. Like if you have somebody out of town and they have internet connection and they're trying to find out like why this why this file is not saving or why the email is sent this way and you really can't explain it to them. As as they're saying it to you, so you can ask. You know, if they have this program on their laptop or their computer, 
like you can actually like basically walk them walking through them it also has like a little chat thing on the side when you go to the functions they have a little chat thing where you can actually chat with them as you're talking to them it's a little chat right there and you can actually just you know just type in anything or whatever anything you want you can just you can say to them it really it really doesn't matter but it's it's kind of it's kind of cool like i i recommend i recommend it if you like if you're a computer tech or if you just you like helping out your friends and family members out on certain things once again the app is free it's called team viewer and thanks like thanks for watching the video